What is going on guys and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. The other day, somebody asked me who are the most important characters to farm for territory battles. Well, this is actually an easy answer. Besides Wampa and Hermit Yoda, who you have to get spending your guild events currency, this is actually pretty simple. You have the light side, you have the dark side territory battles. I'm not giving you the best tunes to farm for each. I'm breaking it down to just one faction you should drop everything and start farming right now and that's pretty simple and that is the imperial trooper faction and here is why i talked about wampa and hermit yoda being the best but the best character you can get from these territory battles overall is definitely the imperial probe droid it's not even close Captain Han, Rebel Officer Leia Organo, they're not even in the same league. Imperial Probe Droid is a 5 out of 5 character with its viability, with its self-destruct, with its target lock, the dispel that it has. So right now, you need to be getting these characters. General Veers, number one. You can find him in the light side, hard, 4C, 6C, and 6D. I would farm him all of these nodes every day if you're thinking about doing the territory battles and trying to get the Imperial Probe Droid. Next, Colonel Stark. What's awesome about Colonel Stark is you can find him in the Guild Event Store every day. He never, sorry, in the Guild Store. He never leaves. He's always there. You get five shards per day. It's an excellent place to farm him. You can get him to seven stars relatively quickly. Go after him. Please do it. And besides that, he's a really fun character to use. He's great in the Sith Raid. He can give critical chance up. He can do a AOE attack. It, it's a lot. Of, I'm actually thinking about Zedaing him. I'm actually thinking about it. As you can see, I'm pretty close to getting him to gear 12. Then we have Death Trooper. Death Tro Trooper is a great character to have overall. I still use him in the top of, top of arena when I want to have fun. His death mark ability, which comes from Terminate, most of you know. It is probably the best character to run in the Sith Raid right now, especially with the small nerf to the Resistance. Obviously, Jedi, tra Jedi Training Ray is the best team still, but when you put a team in there with him and his ability to use Death Mark, it ups the damage significantly. Great character. And the TIE Reaper, he's one of the pilots in those ships, and that is the best ship in the game still, in my opinion. We go to Shore Trooper. This is a no-doubter one of the best tanks in the game it's a self taunter it can do a heal it can give uh, critical chance or critical damage immunity he can solo the phase three of the hat with grand Admiral Thrawn lead i of course i've said this before but run him with all health primary stats as much as you can because his heal is based on 24 percent of his max health so you want to keep that health getting up there and there's also there's stormtrooper and magnet trooper Stormtrooper is fun to use. He's another good tank. Magma Trooper is great for the Sith Raid again, but overall, I would definitely go Snow Trooper. This character is very, very undervalued. His assault or his overwhelming assault, which has deal physical damage to all enemies and gain critical damage up for two turns for each critical hit sc scored, reduce the cooldown of this ability by one. You get this going with uh, Colonel Stark. He gives his critical chance up. I mean, in the Sith Raid and in other areas of the game, let's say you're doing the uh assault battles uh on endor versus the ewoks and you know he can just keep doing this and wiping out people all the time he's a very good character he's actually you know i'd give him a four out of five in all great early game character he's extremely fun to use too his basic can do a lot of damage and potentially inflict ability block and he gains 30 percent turn meter turn meter whenever an enemy any unit is defeated and other empire allies get half the amount so you're throwing that in there with your imperial trooper team this is a huge huge bonus and the imperial troopers have plus 20 percent critical damage now of course they these other guys have synergies general veers who i do have zeta in fact i made the top 10 zetas the other day i put that out there i put it on reddit and i got absolutely massacred for not having thrawn and general veers in there and actually they are correct i had put barris i had put qui-gon jinn Reddit is 100% correct. I did not have Veer Zeta, so I didn't know how great he was. He is like the Finn of the dark side. His aggressive tactician, and it states whenever an enemy is defeated while Veer's is active, Imperial Trooper allies gain offense up for two turns, gain 50% turn meter, and didn't recover 10% protection. And then Imperial Trooper allies gain 15% critical chance. This is great with the Snow Trooper again, because that's boosting that chance to get critical hits, which will reduce down his overwhelming assault. He's a good leader to have. He has an awesome AoE. 
again, I couldn't, I actually couldn't say much more about these. And the Death Trooper, his Krennix Guard, I don't have it Zeta because it only is helpful with Director Krennic. I like Director Krennic, but I don't run him a lot, so it's definitely a waste, wasted Zeta. While Death Troopers active, Imperial Trooper allies have plus 10% health to heal. Seal. And not only is this good for territory battles, these are good characters to have overall. I cannot say that enough. They are a lot of fun to use. I'll go to Short Trooper and show you what he can add into the Imperial Trooper faction. And that is all allies have plus 10% max health. So we're boosting that up there again, uh, especially with his heal ability. And Stark, his Imperial Intelligence. Uh, Imperial Trooper Allies plus 50 armor penetration. Again, great for the Sith Raid. And definitely, definitely you want to use these to unlock the Imperial Probe Droid. I don't have him unlocked yet. I have just seen him and I cannot, I seriously cannot wait to get him unlocked. You can tell a lot about a character by reading its kit. Sometimes you go, you know what? That's, it looks great, but it doesn't play great. This character plays great. Some of you can see here, I have never worked on Captain Han Solo. I apologize to my guild for that. I just wasn't, it's not a priority for me. Darth Rhea, we have zero shards. Again, you know, this is kind of just getting off subject, but we, it's hard to defeat the last phase of the Sith Raid. We're really working on it. But I have 50 out of 80 in Imperial Probe Droid. Again, I've gone over him in some of the other videos because I've used his, I've put in his Zeta in the honorable mentions. Also, somebody asked me why Wampa Zeta wasn't in there. The reason I didn't put that in the top 10 is because, yes, technically it's in the top 10 for best, but not a lot of people have Wampa yet. So it's not something I'm going to go suggest to Zeta right away if you don't have him. A lot of people don't have him. But again, he can take an enemy out right away with self-destruct as long as he's below 100% health, massive damage, precision blasters. I mean, what more do I have to say? Can it potentially expose the detect, you know, Dispel all buffs on enemies, potentially inflict target lock for uh, two turns, remove 5% turn meter from target locked enemies that can't be evaded, and Imperial Logistics, which I will Zeta. While Imperial Probe Droid is active, target locked enemies can, can't can gain buffs. So, right there. First characters to start farming for territory battles overall, Imperial Troopers. And they're, they're so good in other factions of the game as well. In the light side territory battles, you know, you have Commander Luke. Um, you know, you can get Captain Han from the Cantina battles. The, you know, really Rogue One and the Phoenix factions are what you could level up there to, you know, get specific guild event currency. A lot of us have Phoenix because we had to use them for the Thrawn event. But again, I, as you can see, I have them actually as my favorites because I'm trying to get them all to gear 12. And, and, hey, Stormtrooper and Magnet Trooper are great, great characters as well. But I'm just telling you the top five would be Veers, Death Trooper, Stark, Shore Troopers, and Snow Trooper. So, a shorter video today, but I wanted to answer that question quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please smash the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more to come. Peace out, and may the Force be with you.